Welcome back to Crochet Creations and a new Addictions video, number 157. We haven't done one of these in a minute, and I'm doing it because I am addicted to uh, yarns. I'm addicted to patterns, making baby stuff, um, just all kinds of crafty type things when it has to do with crochet and knit now. So um, join me, grab a cup, and uh, let's see what let's do a little update to see what I'm working on. Now, if you're a member here on the channel, then you know that I have a Facebook group and a lot of times I will challenge you to make hats every month, to show and tell what you're working on. And, um, I also have a live and I do live make alongs. So let's get to what we're doing for the month of January. I have a pattern here from Premier Yarns, and it is a cable ribbed hat. It is a knitting hat, knitted hat. Some of you have even done it already. And the yarn for January is Brava Tweed in this lavender tweed colorway. They call it lilac, and it has got speckles. It's beautiful. It's a four worsted weight yarn, and yes, that's worsted. And we have 218 yards in one of these skeins. And uh, it's uh, premium acrylic and viscose. So the, the Tweety bits are the viscose. Um, I am, so far, I'm using my Driftwood Likey. And they are a US 8, 5 millimeter. And it is a cable knit pattern. So here's a real close up of my progress so far. There you go. So you've got a cable, you've got two cables, and they are every third row you're going to twist twist the yarn. So there's your cables. So you're going to see how it closes that cable up and starts a new one. And I'm having a little bit of a uh, learning curve to do this. And that's how far I am. But oh my, is this ever lovely. There you go. That's a real good, good example of that. So you do an inch of, was it, two by one. Yeah, two by one. Yeah, two by one rib. And then you begin the pattern for seven and a half inches. And it's going to be a, a medium size hat. And again, I, it's, it's like, sometimes my hats come out big and stretchy and I don't like them so I'm thinking this one's going to be just right it we'll see we'll see <laughs> I'm thinking it might not be as stretchy as some of the others it's coming out right uh stitch guide wise says 12 stitches and 14 rows is four inches so 12 no I don't think yeah I do have one 12 stitches would be three of these two by one so three four three six eight twelve so yeah my without stretching it my uh my stitch count looks like it might be a little bit short this time So I, I guess the next time I do this, I probably go, I need to go up some, some cable, uh, needle size, but, uh, I don't, uh, I don't know why I should definitely do a uh, gauge, <laughs> but I never do because I am not a real knitter yet. Must be when I decide that I need to do a guide or a, 
a stitch count gauge, then I will consider myself a little bit better than I was, right? <laughs> All right, so that is the January hat, and I may not finish it, uh, but for, you, for those of you that are doing hats every single month of the year in my challenges, you do need to have a finished hat, and it, it needs to be handmade. So crochet it or knit it and place a hat, finished hat in every single month of the year to get into the bonus. The bonus usually is a handmade project bag from someone that I choose. Uh, I have not decided yet which hat or which bag to choose yet. I may buy one from somebody. We will get to that. Okay, so what is next? We started a new challenge on the live. So this this challenge is in the Facebook group and you will be able to pick out a novelty yarn out of your stash. Whichever one you feel is a novelty, it can be fun fur, uh, boo clay, uh, something with lots of color or a real thin yarn like a one that you aren't used to making stuff with you can pick out your own pattern if you want to and i am using a yarn that was given to me in a mystery bag called saturn this was in an aberdeen mystery bag and it is just full of fun it is all kinds of fur lots of halo and it has all kinds of color pops all through it blues and yellows and orange pops of color so i chose to do the simply super super simple shawl by marley bird all of the patterns that i'm using we write in this video or talk about will be linked below and I started it I already have one full hank of this yarn in here and I have the second one half done and it's already this big isn't that just the drapiest softest it's so soft and this is um, using an H hook, the 5.0 millimeter. So that is the challenge for the month um, from January through February to use a novelty yarn and use a pattern of your choice or the one that I'm using. So that's the update there. And the only other thing that I was working on was a hat for my husband because I wanted him to have it for this cold winter. Um, and it's done, and I showed it on the live. So I that was the Rafa hat. I finished that. I was using Heartland. And that's all done. And I also put together a few more rows on my Navajo blanket. So now my Navajo blanket is using scrap yarns and it's the actual Navajo pattern with the 20 row repeat. So uh, I'm gonna sit back as far as I can and find the stitch marker where I was when you last saw this and hold it up from there. So here it is. And here is my stitch marker. Where is that? Right here. So there's the stitch marker right below the pink. And I did all those rows. That is the biggest update I think I've done in a while. And there's how big it is as far as length up and down wise. And it, I'm holding it double. So if you turn it the other way, that is how wide it is double. So it is a big blanket. It's 280 stitches across, I believe. And you do each row add the yarn on the right-hand side with 
leaving some fringe and then end it with fringe on the other side. So there's an update and hopefully someday soon I will have this done and I will continue to do these because I think this is a great way to use up your scrap yarn because you only need one and you can change color and it's rainbow and I don't know it's just beautiful. I did these before with the designated colors like they tell you to do was like four colors red and black and gray and white and they come out really nice and they do look like a Navajo blanket um, with those designated colors. I've also done this in Christmas colors and it comes out beautiful. So we'll see. We may, uh, you may see another Christmas one done. I sold the other one. It was all done in reds and variegated uh, Christmas colors and sparkle and I sold it. So I don't have it to show you, um, but in previous videos, I have shown that before, before it was sold. So um, I think that's all I have for today. And I will be sure and link all that below, all those patterns below. And um, don't forget to uh, check out my latest Hooks and Needles box uh, review. I opened box number five. And... Um, you should be able to see that before you see this video. I don't know what order I'm going to do, but I did that today. Uh, I opened that, and I had a Michaels haul too. So take care. Take a moment out of each day. Be creative, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.